is, I have some question in mind. Why do you think that some of these architectural design are in combination of the Indian culture, the Hindu belief, and the Muslim uh, architectural design combined together here? And for me to explain, of course, a good friend, my own Google, like Google here, is Topel, who will be able to explain it with us. Yes, uh, the, uh, the quick question came in your mind. Why they make the structure in Hindu Muslim architect? You know, uh, the king of Ahmed, they were Hindu. And but also the Mughals, like Muslims, also ruled here in India. And uh, uh, nobody wants to fight. But uh, you know, I'm always afraid from the Mughals because Mughals have many powers and the king of Amir has very less power. So, and uh, you know, Akbar is married to Jodha Bai. Jodha Bai, she was the daughter of Dharma, the king of Amir. And uh, she was very beautiful, so he decided to marry with her. And he said, I want to marry with Jodha Bai. So, you know, he has a small, he has a small strength. Yes. So he said, okay. So he maintained the balance. And uh, that's why in this whole court, in each and every place, you can see combination of Hindu art and Mughal art. And uh, already you see there. Thank you so much. And uh, for the next. Okay. All right, thank you, Kapo, for explaining that with us. And you know, this is a good time to unite regardless of our own beliefs and religions, denominations, and cultures. Unity is one way to keep the peace of the heart. Remember, it's always possible to travel around the world only through the power of God. See you next time. Bye.